12 minutes into this movie and it is sick. Excuse me, I'm just cleaning my apartment while I'm watching Digging Up the Marrow. I just wanted to pause for a second. I'll do a full review, obviously, after this clip. But, my god, this setup is amazing. I'm only um, 12 minutes into this movie, and it is sick. Fucking high-fiving. I'm really hoping it stays this good, but I just wanted to document how I felt at the start of this movie, because... Uh, I really hope it keeps like keeps up like this and to show how enthusiastic I am about the setup Anyway over to future me <laughs> to my reaction about the outcome and the overall film But right now I'm so psyched and I'm loving this. Hi, you're now talking to future me that movie Was great. I really 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 enjoyed it. it I feel like it's the horror lovers dream um Especially that it had cameos from like lots of different people that I'm sure all of you guys appreciate. Lots of actors and lots of directors, lots of writers. Um, thank you, JVR, so much for recommending this to me. I I love this movie. It was great. Uh, there is a few flaws that I found, a few little loopholes um, that didn't really make sense, but I can overlook them. Um, the one thing that was disappointing to me would have been the ending. I really... I just thought it could have been done better like the rest of it was pretty cool and I like that the monsters were quite different and they weren't I mean they weren't scary really one looked kind of like Jeepers Creepers but other than that they were kind of like Muppets to me which was fine I just didn't really like the ending and I don't really want to ruin it but uh, what happens to the guy um, the the crazy guy I guess uh, it was okay I just felt like it left um, a lot of questions unanswered and the very very ending was a bit meh meh but everything before that was amazing and for that reason I'm going to give it a 4.5 um the only I only take that extra 0.5 off because of the ending and the way it's just a, really the last 10 minutes when you finally got the camera back and you're really interested to see the footage uh it just didn't it didn't end up on this like high note like I thought it would it was kind of a bit meh um I still think this movie is amazing and anyone who likes found footage films, anyone who loves horror and especially like American horror, this is kind of for you. I really enjoy this movie and if you haven't seen it, please check it out. I also really love that uh, the my starting for my 31 Days of Horror, I don't know if you guys picked this up, I'm sure you did, that every single um, clip from that is actually from trailers of all of these movies that I'm watching. And it's really cool because sometimes I'll be watching a movie and I'll be like, oh, that's from, that's that bit that I've taken. Um, because obviously I didn't, I try not to look at the trailers beforehand, uh, just trying to pick out some cool scenes. I just like the fact that before um, it turns to black and the 31 Days of Horror pops up on my intro, this movie was up and I think it was really fitting and now I've watched it, it makes a lot of sense. I'm actually gonna go out for dinner, that's why I'm wearing makeup again um, but that was a really good movie to watch in general but especially when I'm doing chores around the house it just really just flew by it was amazing um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did and I'll see you guys tomorrow stay spooky bye but this is an Australian film and it's very like Yobbo I don't know if you guys know that term if you're not in Australia it's kind of like what you call like a redneck it's kind of like a bogan or like a Yobbo um, <laughs> that's an our lingo hey 